<laughs> but like you representing, you represent your family. So be proud of your last name, man. Good morning. Nope. Nope. Wait. Now, let's use this as a teacher for a moment. Somebody, what is one thing that he can improve on? Standing straight up. Looking straight. His tone. Rep said, picking his head up. Speaking up. Speaking up. So just listen to all that and just put all that in. Cause look, I keep telling y'all, it seemed easy, but it, it, this is not easy. This is not easy. To, so look, it's easy to be a fool, right? And when the teacher ain't looking and I'm writing something at the board, I can be like, to get somebody to laugh. But when I gotta stand up here and be accounted for, right? So, so when you taking tests and you gotta be accounted for, or when somebody is giving you a responsibility and you have to be accounted for. When somebody is holding you up to a standard and you have to be accounted for. If you're a basketball player or if you're a student, when you have to be accounted for, stand up and be accounted for. Anybody can act crazy. Anybody can be the clown. But it ain't about being clownish foolish, none of that. When it's time for me to stand on these two squares and do what I'm going to do, am I able to do that? So again, my standpoint, right, at a certain age, certain grade level, it's things that y'all should be able to do, and especially y'all should be able to do them if y'all real flossy and jiggy and cool and everything is fun. So sure. that's why I say, like me with basketball, if you can't like make a layup with your right hand, or if you can't make a layup with your left, really, really with your right hand. Like if you can't play basketball to me, because everybody play basketball. If you can't shoot a basketball, you shouldn't be tough. All the tough guys I know can play basketball. Now that ain't saying you gotta be tough to play basketball, but I'm just saying certain things, you can't be like tough, super guy. I'm gonna just put this on the board and y'all know what that means, right? But anyway, super tough guy. If you can't write in cursive, you probably shouldn't be like cursive, all right? If you can't write in cursive, you probably shouldn't be cursing. You can't do push-ups, you shouldn't be trying to crack jokes on everybody else. Can't do push-ups, shouldn't be trying to crack jokes. Shouldn't be trying to be the funny guy, right? Listen, this, this is difficult, right? This is standing up, and being able to look, again, at an at a intimate crowd. So, watch this. He got a lot of courage because at least he got up. He got a lot of courage because, remember, 10 minutes ago, he didn't get up, right? You know what I'm saying? 10 minutes ago, he didn't get up, right? But he got up now, so it takes a lot of courage to do this. But y'all said, tone, stand up straight. Look up. Say your last name. That's hard when you got to stand on them two blocks and be accounted for. <coughs> Bless you. So, like, school is fun. You can have fun. But I want you to stand up and be accounted for. Can that teacher count on you to be the student that you really want to be? Because at the end of the day, y'all here every day. Y'all getting up and y'all coming here. If that's to get up and come here to eat, get up to come here to have fun, whatever it is, but you coming here. There's a lot of people y'all age ain't getting up coming into a school. So if you getting up and you coming here, be accounted for. Does that make sense to anybody? Any, I mean, or maybe not. Okay, so it makes sense to one person. No, no, you can't say it makes sense to everybody because you, that's an excellent point. Excellent point. Because guess what? And it's not, it's, I'm glad you made that point, but I can't be accounted for for him. 
So I can't be like, yeah, we understand. I understand. I understand. Not we understand. And if I understand, I understand, I understand, I understand, I understand, and so forth, then we understand. But here's the problem. Because we listening to each other, and we think that we understand, but in reality, we lost. Because we listening to somebody that don't really know how to get where we trying to go. Mm -hmm. So we hanging amongst a group or in a crowd or with people that ain't trying to go where we trying to go or don't know how to go where we trying to go. Because we saying, I can account for them. You gotta go, some, some people in here wanna graduate. Some people in here just want to get out the house. It's a difference. It's a difference. I want y'all to understand. Some people in here want to go to like colleges that they don't let people in. Not of y'all come. Not of y'all demographic. Some people have dreams to do things other than be in this place 10, 20 years from now. But that can't happen if you're not being accounted for. See, if somebody get up get up here and be like, in case, I heard somebody get up, in, get up in here and say, school, born school. And I heard somebody say, school cracking. Them two totally different mindsets. One person said, boring school. That means, it's so much more I can do. Mm -hmm. Boring school means there's so much more I can do if I get like energized. If 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 something pushes me. But it's boring. Like I don't like Michael Jordan retired the first half because he said it was nothing else for him to prove. The game was boring to him. It was no other goals for him to reach. So when I hear somebody say like class born, school born, that, that tells me that that person is, has a whole different mindset. Then the person be like, man, school cracking. School cracking mean, I ain't really about learning. Cause school can be cracking, but your grades probably ain't. School can not, now school is fun, but like school cracking, we probably ain't on that school board. Because one person is thinking academically, another person is thinking socially. So the person that's thinking socially, they can't stand up and account for the first thing academically. And the person that's thinking about, oh man, I want to go to DeVry, I want to go to uh, Stanford, I want to go to MIT. They can't be accounted for the person that's just coming to school to get it cracking. I mean, does that make sense? So, like, y'all got to be mindful of who you around, who you hanging with. Because I just want to get it cracking. So sometimes when I said like be responsible and take pride Come. and don't let distractions get you messed up. Now that brings me back to your name. Be proud to say your name. Say who you are, even if you gotta look straight ahead. They don't know that you're looking at at them. And then guess what? Once you accomplish this, which seems easy but it's not, now once you can stood up and be accounted for, now you can built up a little bit of equity to maybe I can like veer off a little bit and laugh maybe when I ain't supposed to, but I won't necessarily get in trouble because I've already stood up and did what I was supposed to do. 
See, when you ain't doing what you're supposed to do, it really makes it worse when you messing up in class. But for the person who's doing what they're supposed to do, teachers sometimes give you a little bit of leniency. All right, okay, Jarrell laughed, but Jarrell done with his paper. As opposed to, oh, he laughed and you ain't done nothing? You're not writing on, on, on my desk, are you? You're not writing on my desk, are you? Ah, oh, stop, freeze, freeze, freeze. Drop a pencil. Oh, okay, my man. What else? What you missing? Great. Great. Oh, great. Please <laughs> stop. <laughs> all right, all right, come on, start over. Come on, let's go through it. What? Wait, 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 stop. All right. Next. Come on, real quick. Yeah. Leah. You see how Leah step up? Leah step up and move. Come on. 